Mad Dog Comedy TV for Try Improv. I'm Connor Lowe, the technical director of Bad Dog, and I'm excited to introduce the teacher today for Try Improv. Uh, you may know him as Jeff the Gray on People of Earth, or as the body of Pogo and the everything of Herb on Umbrella Academy. Give it up for Kent Hall. <laughs> Hello, Connor. How are hey, you? Great. How are you feeling? Oh, I'm feeling fantastic. Great uh, to be here. So yeah. How's your How's your Thursday afternoon? Great. I mean, I did <laughs> forget to uh, intro what the show is. <laughs> okay. Uh, well, I can so, always go if you want. Yeah. I can, I can I'll, you know, step I'll out take you if you want to. Yeah. Yeah. Just, Let's try. We can do it together. It's yeah. So. Problem. Try Improv is a show where one of our uh, great faculty members, like Ken Hall, uh, will uh, will talk to a, a relative newbie to improv, and um, they'll uh, discuss a topic and then try a scene together. Quite mm -hmm. literally, trying improv. <laughs> it's such a very literal name for a show. Yeah, it's great. <laughs> Great. Yeah, I'm so pumped for this. This is, uh, I think it's such a great idea. Because uh, I really feel like improv is that thing for everyone. Like, everyone can do it, right? We're doing it right now. There is no script. We're making life up as we go along. And I think in order to make a good life is to be open to other people and to other people's offers and to support people. Oh, that's, that's really nice. <laughs> that's just nice, Ken. <laughs> My friend, but uh, improv is that thing that can... You know, if uh, when I I've been doing improv for about sixteen years or so, when I started doing improv, uh, before I got into it, my default in life was to say no. I was afraid of a lot of things, uncertainty. I didn't like it. I didn't like to be the center of attention as well. Be better. I'm happier. <laughs> you know. Uh, so the rules of improv are actually like really good rules to live a happy life by. That's great. Now. <laughs> I can continue. <laughs> on oh, that sorry. I just or... got uh, an error message <clears throat> saying that uh, the stream isn't working, but I just checked it out and it's working great. Okay. <laughs> I, fe I feel like that's a fixture of this show. Just um, yeah. <laughs> last time the guests just dropped off and, um, you know, right. that's, that's improv, baby. That is total improv. I love it. It's so meta. This show, I mean, we are doing improv and everything that goes with it. And for me, it's the acceptance of like, okay. This is happening. Yeah. <laughs> no one uh, may be seeing us right now. <laughs> well, so. I do have a bit of a script. I, I, I've got what a few the... things I've got to hit. And uh, one of them is I've got some questions that mm -hmm. um, I'm not even going to ask you. I'm going to pop them on screen, and you'll ask yourself. How's that sound? <laughs> sure. I can do your job for you if that's something. <laughs> <laughs> Great. Let's uh, I'll, I'll, Great, I'll, I'll let you All take right. the stoplight. Or oh, spotlight. Gosh. Oh boy! You know, <laughs> I've been out of a tech booth for so long. I, I forget what, what they're called. That? That's um, so massive on this thing. Yeah. Uh, okay, Let's start great. with uh, I'm ready. this one. I feel like I feel. Like, oh, there it is. Uh, what am I teaching at Bad Dog? I'm teaching two classes right now, and uh, these are two relatively new classes that I put together uh, since the pandemic started. So basically, late spring. Early summer, uh, my uh, two classes are comedic on-camera acting and mindfulness. And it's actually, they're, they're two of my absolute favorite classes that I've ever taught uh, in, in my career as a, as a teacher. Uh, and, and there is, they both kind of like, uh, they, they complement each other. Uh, within comedic on-camera acting, there's a lot of mindfulness that I like to add. And within the mindfulness class, there's a lot of uh, aspiring actors and improvisers and such. So uh, those are the two classes I'm teaching currently at Bad Dog. Wow. I have so many follow-up questions I want to ask, but we have such <laughs> a limited time that I'm going to stick to the prepared questions like fair this enough, one. What, uh, what's your favorite thing about teaching improv? Um, it's kind of like the stuff that I'm, I'm, I'm teaching a lot these days. Um, this idea of like showing up, how you show up. And for me, improv was an entry point into discovering playing a game. I, I started improv when I was about maybe 30. And for my teens and my 20s, uh, they were pretty serious. And so I, I felt like I didn't really, I kind of forgot how to play and to have fun and to connect with other people in a spontaneous kind of way. In a supportive kind of way so for me when i'm teaching improv 
I, I, for me, it's this idea of actually teaching adults in particular to reconnect with the sense of playfulness and the sense of fun. Uh, when kids are playing pretend, uh, they're not hard on themselves. They're not judging their moves. They accept the reality that they're playing in and they have the most fun. And that's the thing that they pursue. And so as a teacher and as a performer myself, uh, that's what I like to lead with. I'm like, I want to have fun. When I show up, I'm here to play. And I'm here to support my scene partner's moves and to celebrate them. And uh, that's the spirit that I'm really actually teaching. So I'm teaching the mechanics of improv, but I'm actually really teaching adults to, to get comfortable in their own skin and to embrace really who they are. And for them to have experiences where they take risks, experience vulnerability, and get affirmation from, from stepping outside of their comfort zone to embrace play. Uh, great. I've got a question for you. Okay. Um, not written down. Are those what? multiple lint rollers in a <laughs> mug behind you? Yes, they are, actually. Uh, it was, uh, at first, a practicality. Uh, uh, there they are. <laughs> it was uh, a practicality at first, because I'm like, why does anyone have three lint rollers as well? And the sad thing is, I actually probably have a lot more, <laughs> like somewhere. Um, but I have three lint warmers, and rather than hide them, I'm going to put them on display. And, and they're very functional. Uh, and they're also, it's kind of like a bit of like the Goldilocks and the Three Bears kind of thing. One is a bigger one, one medium size, and one sort of the smaller uh, <laughs> smaller one. So I quite like it. And it's a bit like uh, if everyone, if anyone gets on a Zoom call with me or maybe some of my students, uh, it's kind of a bit of an Easter egg. You know, they may not... <laughs> It may not comment on it, but if someone if someone sees that and takes pleasure, the fact that I'm actually displaying three uh, lint rollers uh, in a cup, uh, then I, I've I've made their day a little bit better. So, uh, yeah, right. honestly, I I feel great about it. I feel like I I just <laughs> won something. <laughs> Um, you, my friend, win a lint roller. So I will get your email address and uh, <laughs> send um, that over to you. Well, Ken, uh, now would you like to meet the person you will be teaching improv to? Yeah, 100%. All right. Who am I going to be teaching improv to today? Well, you may know her from her show on Bad Dog Comedy TV, Quarantine, or from the Beijing Improv and Comedy Festival. Give it up for Tamara Siobhan. What? Hello. Oh, hey. <laughs> Hello. Hi, it's, Hello. It's, it's very like easy rock, like very like. It's Thursday afternoon. Yeah. It's Thursday, four thirty. <laughs> driving home from work. Got out work early, you know. <laughs> Watching some billboards, you know. Yeah. Listening to my tunes, favorite podcast. <laughs> Hi, Tamara. How are you? Great to Good, see you. How are you? Good to I'm, see you. I love. I mean, Connor was chatting about my background, but I gotta say, your background is like primo. That is amazing. Woo. <laughs> yeah, all, all the bottles are filled with water. <laughs> uh, well, I don't, I don't drink, so yeah, so I, I'm good. Uh, <laughs> oh wow! I mean, I can't wait for that point in my life. Honestly. <laughs> well, I Tamara, can... I've got a, a million bottle questions, Ooh, but I oh, do yes. have three yes. prepared questions that I'm Ooh. legally required to ask via the <laughs> screen. Obligated. So, it's in his contract. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, I, I signed it, and now, uh, you know, you reap what you sow. Uh, Tamara, are you ready to answer a few questions? Yes, I am. All right. What is my performance background? Oh, you're doing this, this, this whole thing again where I have yes. to ask myself? Okay. S same thing. <laughs> I know, we're doing I'm this. I wanted to ask you, but they didn't say how. <laughs> uh, <laughs> um, my performance background, I'm a stand-up comedian. I've been doing stand-up since I was 25. Um, and that's about, like, I mean, I, I'm a teacher as well, so I guess I perform for my students all the time. Um, and that's about it, honestly. What, what do you teach? What do you teach, Tamara? I teach English and French for Ooh, high school students. Yeah. Right. Nice. Yeah. So that's uh. <laughs> Do you ever uh, any of your stand-up material is that ever derived from the students that you teach? Um. Actually, I do have a whole bit on a student that I taught. Yes. Actually. Oh um, yeah. Oh, I shouldn't have said that. If you're watching. <laughs> 
<laughs> Damn it. Uh, they should be watching. They should be in school right now. So if they are watching, yeah, get back to work. You should be in my class and I got a yeah, yeah. teacher for what? No. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Jeez. Well, to, uh, to get you out of any trouble, let's pivot to our next question. Ooh, nice transition there, Connor. Nice one. Uh, what is your improv experience? Uh, I don't have any, to be honest. I was in a Beijing improv and comedy festival, but... Um, the title makes people actually I had a really funny interview with someone that was like, tell me more about your improv experience. I was like, no, I was just in an improv <laughs> festival. They're like, and then how did you know you loved improv? There's a hundred thousand views on this on YouTube. And I'm like, she keeps asking me about improv and halfway through, I'm like, yeah, improv's amazing. I love doing improv. <laughs> so she's not t- taking my answer. Um, but no, I'm taking an improv class right now at Bad Dog and I'm learning a lot. Mm-hmm. Um, but I've only done one class, so I actually am not learning that much yet. Because um, I, I missed the first week of my own class, even though I am the, um, I, yeah, I had to work. Um, but anyway, so I i don't know anything about improv. Honestly, I don't know anything about it, but I do respect it a lot. I like watching it because it looks really hard. And for a stand-up, improv's really hard. And I feel like for improv, anyone in improv, like any improviser stand-up looks really hard, because like, yeah. So. Yeah, it's true. I, I, uh, I, I've i done a bit of stand-up myself. I've maybe like 20 sets over my, over my life. And it's, it's a weird experience because I'm on stage in a very comfortable position. I'm like, here's an audience and, and I will say stuff and you will likely laugh. Um, but there's, it's different though. It's so different. I mean, I'm like, it's, it's, it's a different skill set uh then then team prep there's some crossover but it's also like it's it's a it's a tough gig in a lot of ways you know i it's really hard but i also feel mm. like having to rely on someone else in improv is also very hard so like mm. y- you know like it's like having to not know what someone else is going to say you know what you're going to say in stand up so i find it easier almost yeah but having to like trust people which is why like it took me so long to get into a relationship um mm is very difficult. <laughs> well, Tamara, I feel like you've already answered this question, but as I mentioned earlier, I am legally obligated to ask it <laughs> via uh, just your screen. Here we go. Uh, what is your impression of improv? Um, I honestly, I have a lot more respect for improv than um, for some reason, a lot of people in stand up make fun of improv and a lot of people mm-hmm. in improv are like, you don't understand us. And like, yeah, you're right, we don't understand. And I used to make fun of improv, and now looking at people do improv, I'm like, this is so hard, I don't think I could ever do it. So that's why I'm trying, um, but- Do you do any, uh, I'm sorry, sorry. No, go ahead. Well, I was, just gonna, I was gonna ask that, do you do any improv in your stand-up sets? Like when you say a line, for example, or the blow line or the button, and then an audience like reacts in a way that you didn't expect them that they were gonna react to, and then maybe you speak to that? Yeah, I mean, I think a lot of people, and here's the thing about improvisers, they're so much nicer than stand-up comedians, so they'll tell (laughs) you that you're doing improv, like, you've already done it, don't even worry, it's not that hard, and they're like so, they're so nice to you about something that they know you're doing terribly, like, crowd work is not improv, but every improviser is like, you're on your way! (laughs) Yeah, yeah, you're halfway there, you're halfway there. (laughs) And, like, you're not. Like, I'm just, like, I just, the respect level is just through the roof because I've been watching a lot of Bad Dog TV and I'm looking at stuff and I'm, like, seeing people put together scenes just, like, they start off in the kitchen and suddenly, like, it's all about, like, a landlord and, like, this whole process. And I'm, like, how did you do that? (laughs) (laughs) Just like that. (laughs) Yeah, it's true. I mean, it is that thing of, like, that collaboration and both people are coming in with, like, like the slate is clean it's like we're just going to build from scratch we have nothing and so it's like you build one thing one move one offer and it's like yeah now we have something oh this is amazing we have something and so it's yeah just like those little building blocks uh that we yeah that we put into place together yeah it seems hard i like to i like to say that i can think on my feet but i think it's a different skill that i'm trying to Hone in on yeah, one of the things I could say before we jump into our scene is that uh, I, I say to a lot of my students, it's like, treat it like a conversation. And like, as we are having a conversation right now, I'm not, I'm not worrying where the conversation's going. Uh, I'm not focused on like, oh, I got to get this line out, got to get this, I got to say this, I got to I got to make Tamara laugh. Um, I'm just having a conversation with you. So I'm like, I'm, I'm really listening and everything that you say and do matters to me. And I'm just taking it in. I'm absorbing it. And I'm not worried. So it's it's very much like we're just living in the moment. And we're just having a conversation. So 
I think a lot of people, when they first step into it, think that they have to be like a stand-up to be very funny, get a joke, joke, joke kind of thing. But it, it actually, like, let's just create a foundation of a scene. Let's just find out who we are to each other, treat it like a conversation, and then the comedy will come. We'll find those moments. Oh, boy. Everything you just said to me in the beginning terrified me, and then the end, you made it really nice. So, like, excited and scared. <laughs> such <laughs> is life. Such is improv, right? It starts off scary, gets a little bit better, gets scary yeah. again, and then, oh, great. Something good happens, you know. <laughs> Unfortunately, wow. today's fundamental of improv is not scariness level, but are, are you both ready to get into today's fundamental of improv? Oh, yes. absolutely. 100%. We've got this one. Character. Ooh. Great. Um, exciting. Uh, what do you? What do you? What does that mean to you, Tamir? When you when you see the word character, what do you think of? Does that mean that we're trying to be people who aren't us, or does that mean that we're developing a person that could be us? But like, I don't know. That's what a great question. Like... <laughs> it could be. It could be either of those things, right? So I can okay. step out. I can. I can play a heightened version of me. So I think for me, within character, it's just to to build off that idea there is like you can we we take all of who we are so all of our life experiences all of my thoughts my feelings my intellect my emotional intelligence as well um all the good stuff that's happened to me in my life all the bad stuff that's happened to me in my life all the very boring mediocre mundane things that have happened in my life i can filter that through a character and a character for me like when i hear that is just like it's just this idea of having an opinion and having a point of view. And I can play a character that may be a heightened or an exaggerated version of who Ken Hall is, or I can play someone <laughs> that is so different to how Ken Hall appears, you know? Um, so it, 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 to make our jobs easier, you can play closer to yourself, meaning that your character can take on the same beliefs, same attitudes, same perspectives as Tamara does, or you can actually exaggerate. You can play someone who has the exact opposite viewpoints of who Tamara is. So it's kind of like a giant, it's like a giant buffet, you know? And all it is really just you agreeing of like whatever it is that you're putting out there, that you accept that, and that you keep building from that. You know, so if I'm like, if I start and I'm like, oh, I'm kind of like, oh, I'm a little bit nervous. Like that's my starting point and I can filter everything through that, through that point of view of being a, an anxious kind of person, you know? Oh, wow. Lucky for you. You're, you made me realize I don't know who I am actually. <laughs> well, I don't. <laughs> <laughs> that's in the next show. That's my podcast. Of, uh, I didn't know who you are, <laughs> who you are and who you want to be. <laughs> uh, I'm excited. Uh, it, the thing is, Tamara, no experience necessary. It's that thing. Okay. We're just going to have a conversation. We're just going to dive in. We can be big characters. We can use our bodies to become different shapes and different kind of like side. We can play with our voice. We can play with our mannerisms and such. At the end of the day, we have fun. We have fun playing, playing pretend. That's it. We get to step into characters for the next five minutes or so. Uh, and they can look like us. They can sound like us. Or they can look and sound completely different than who we are. Okay. Great. All right. Do you have any questions, Tamara, before we jump into no. this? No, I'm... <laughs> <laughs> great. I love it. It's great. No. Uh, yes, can Connor. I have yes, Connor. Uh, one thing. If you had, like, one idea or one thought you want Tamara to uh, hold on to, in order mm -hmm. to to uh, you know work on characters in this scene, mm -hmm. uh, wh what would that be? Do you have something like that? Yeah, um, give me. Uh, you can even exaggerate this if you want, <clears throat> but give me your character, whoever it is. They have opinions about anything and everything. So they have opinions <laughs> about anything Sorry. that I say or do. Yeah. Well, you just laughed right there. What a great that's reaction. Me. I know, I know, that's what I'm saying, it's amazing. You just reacted, that was your opinion. You laughed, you're like... <laughs> so... <laughs> you're already doing it. The scene has already started, Connor, I think. <laughs> oh no, I missed so... it. <laughs> so 
So all um, of it, you're doing it to Mary. You're it's just you're you're making everything matter. But as a character, uh, you've got opinions about everything. About opinions about me. Opinions about me doing this gesture. Opinions about <laughs> my shirt. <laughs> opinions about my facial hair. Opinions about everything. And that that's the main part of of playing a character. Of like just have an opinion, choose to be affected, have an opinion about everything, strong beliefs, uh, and <laughs> <laughs> like that's it. There you go. Tomato, things, this big ass. <laughs> <laughs> it's a big ask. <laughs> Does that make sense? Or like, it's just have opinions about things, right? So if For I'm sure. like, if I'm like, <laughs> so what Avery Jean just wrote there. I'd be like, well, it's just thinking to yourself of like, well, how do I, what, as this character, how do I think and feel about this character? And there's no wrong answer within that. So you, you can do no wrong. Because no matter what you say or do, I'm going to support you. That's it. Okay, I'm ready. Uh, all right. I, need, like I needed it? this from my mom, to be fair. But this is perfect that I <laughs> we can bring her in. <laughs> we can bring her in. We can, it's on Steam Yard. I don't know how many people we can fit in here, but. <laughs> um, is there like a suggestion or get you'd like to get into the scene? Oh, what do you uh, what do you think, Tamara? Do you have a, a suggestion, or was that for me, Connor, or is that for for, for both? Either, <clears throat> Tamara. Um, what do you say? We'll we'll start our scene with a suggestion of some kind. So we'll get what kind like, of yeah. suggestion though? Yeah, yeah, totally. Uh, <laughs> so do we want to do like where were two people? that like generally enjoy spending time with each other where would two people hang out a restaurant okay sure <laughs> great okay but that, i think we we're gonna <laughs> i think like that's we oh. asked the audience <laughs> <laughs> you know what um, well i have an opinion you're, it's <laughs> our, you're doing connor's job tamara you're doing the audience's job you know my job <laughs> yeah i i'm i'm happy uh to <laughs> To go with what? restaurant, what? I love it. Yeah, great. I love restaurant. Great. Um, um, <laughs> so, uh, thank you so much, you two. We bring you to this great. scene inspired by restaurant. Oh wow. Hmm. Hmm. Well, here we are. Yeah, here we are. This is definitely a restaurant. This is a restaurant. This is. I mean, it's not a gas station. Or is it? We haven't had the feed. <laughs> we haven't had the food yet, so. <laughs> I mean, it's not my favorite type of restaurant. No. I mean, again, I'm so sorry. I mean, yeah. I didn't know that, you know, D'Angelo's was about reservations. and Sorry about that. I dropped the ball. <laughs> Yet again, I, I fumbled the ball, you know. But, hey. We're close. We're at the five yard line. We just gotta, oh, just gotta get over there, you know. <laughs> Life does that. It puts up hurdles, but. <laughs> I mean, how long are we gonna have to wait? They said that this was gonna be ten minutes. It's been twenty-five. You know yeah, you're right. Yeah. <clears throat> Excuse me. Hello. No, they didn't see me. <laughs> Guess I'm just not. I don't have that kind of kind of a voice or a presence really, in that, you know. I say or do things, and people just tend to walk by me. So, I mean, you want to try it? You can. Oh, there's a there's a waiter. There's a waiter. Get the. Yeah, this waiter looks super lazy, but I'll give it a shot. Hello, excuse me, excuse me. Oh, can you believe that? He was so lazy. Oh. I mean, I've seen lazy people, but this is the laziest person I've ever seen. Not even wearing shoes. Yeah, tell me more about the lazy people that you've seen. Well, I mean, yeah. everywhere uh -huh. you go, you go you go to a restaurant, you go to yeah. like, a cashier, they barely want right. to give you the money back. They always are like, oh, here you go, dropping your change on the table. Like, they don't even want to put it in your hand. Like, what is this, a Denny's? Yeah. Like, it's, meet me halfway, right? Put the change into my palm, right? That's what a palm is for. What else is a palm for, huh? Apart from reading, put change in my palm. It's not asking yeah. much. Gosh, that stuff we just, that ruffles my feathers. No end, you know. I'm so sorry that you have to see that. I, I wanted this night to be special, and I, 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 I'm sorry. Things are kind of like, you know, I, I believe that they can be turned around. I'm an optimist. Okay. I'm I mean, you always say you're an optimist, but look at this. Every time you spew your optimism, we're in a pessimistic situation. <laughs> wow. Hashtag real talk. You know. I also you don't hate see the blood. Using... You don't see oh. the blood, but that cut me. That cut me, but I needed being cut. I need someone to get truthful with me. Dolores, that's why I, I, 
you're just that. You're kind of like, you're the truth sayer, you know? And I need someone in my life like that. That's why I'm, when I met you, I'm like, this person is really special to me. And I'm, damn it, I'm going to do something about it. Waiter! Fine. We want menus now, please, if that's okay. Soon. Oh my God! What? 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 If that's okay? What? I'm, I, well, I raised my voice. Did you hear how loud my voice went? That took up space. Yeah. What are you looking at? Huh? You got your food. We are waiting for ours. Can you believe that? Oh, I can believe it. I can believe it. That's what you always do. You raise your voice and you get really quiet. Now we don't have a table still. This guy's still not wearing shoes. Like, do you understand <laughs> what's happening right now? <laughs> Okay, when I said that this was not an A restaurant nor a B restaurant, uh, it's an E restaurant. This is like, this is, this is terrible, terrible service. I'm not going to come back here after I've had my meal tonight. I mean, are we going to have a meal here? This place looks like they don't even cook food. No one has any food on the table. Do they, do they have chefs? What's, I, I hate things like this. Is good conversation a meal? <laughs> I just don't know. I mean, I mean I'm full. Right. Well, here's the thing is, like, maybe this is one of those moments that, you know, 10 years from now, we'll be thinking and kind of laughing about of Like, I remember that time we tried to make reservations at D'Angelo's, but they were already booked. And so we went to this other place we thought it was a B restaurant. And then they became more of like an E restaurant because the guy wasn't even wearing any shoes. and We didn't get any food. But that was the night that we actually fell in love. <laughs> Yeah, I, I'm not really big on nostalgia. Like, everyone always wants to, like, go back and no, look yeah, at things. Yeah, and it's like, no. I just, it's just like, so everyone wants to be nostalgic. Like, live in the moment. Live in the moment. Yeah. If everyone here was living in the moment, we'd have our food. We'd have a table. This guy would yeah. have shoes. <laughs> yes, that's right. You should, you should put that on a t-shirt. You should brand that stuff. <laughs> yeah. Oh. Oh, when you laugh like that, I mean, my, my, just my life explodes inside of me. You know, it's just, you know. Yeah, I well, think you're really, I think you're really special. Thank you. It'd be nicer if you said that to me over some food here. Yeah, can we get some food for God's sakes? I mean, geez, that's 33 minutes we've been waiting. Come on, I will make it myself. What do you want? You want an omelet? You want I, a western? You like a western? I will actually, show me I the kitchen. Eggs. I hate I, eggs. You hate eggs? Yeah, I what? hate eggs. Why do you hate eggs? Uh, they taste like farts in my mouth. What? An, no, 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 an egg, an egg from a chicken, an egg. Tastes like farts in your mouth. Yeah. You have you not had my eggs hollandaise. You have not had oh. my eggs. What? Oh gosh, oh no. What? No. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> They're not that bad, are they? <laughs> Yay! Yay! Bye bye, my friend. Yes! That was Oh that my gosh, really, that's um, fun. Fun. I really do hate eggs. <laughs> <laughs> Amazing. Great. Good for you. Uh, I love eggs in my life, but it doesn't matter. It's so great that you brought that POV, that point of view, into your scene. So that's the thing. You don't have to reinvent yourself. It's like everything that, who you are, you can slip that in to a scene. And believe me, we could riff on you hating eggs and them actually smelling like farts <laughs> for a really that long was, time. How did it feel? How did it feel? That was actually so fun. I was like, I'm really sweaty right now. Like, it's like not me too. the time. I'm like, oh my God. I might God. have to apologize to my upstairs neighbors because I was yelling. Where's the food? Why is he asking for food? We <laughs> Sorry. Well, tell was... us... Yeah, tell me more. You're sweaty. <laughs> I'm sweaty. I, it, it's hard though. It's really hard. It's it's it was fun, but I was just like, oh my gosh, this is how a scene's made. And then I started getting nervous about how scenes are made. <laughs> I was like, oh, we're, gonna, we're gonna ruin this scene. But then I just like let go, and I was like, this Great. is like, I really enjoy the fact that it was like a real kind of situation. But you're so good. Like I oh, feel thank like you. well, I I'm in good company, Tamara. Like seriously, because. <gasps> I, the way I look at it is that we can do no wrong. And I totally get that idea about like getting into your head and being like, oh, this is nice. We're in a restaurant. Oh, this is fun. And then you start thinking of like, oh my gosh, we're in an improv scene. <laughs> like, <laughs> and then you start worrying of like, how, how do I do this? It's kind of like, it's kind of like riding a bike. You just ride a bike, right? Do you ride a bike? I do. Great. So he's like when you're riding a bike, but if you ever stop to think about how you're able to ride a bike, 
it's kind of like, oh my god, how how is this happening? <laughs> like oh, you become no. so self conscious of it. Not to, oh gosh, what did I choose bike? I should <laughs> bad analogy. Uh, you know when you're like blowing your nose or like when, when you're going to sleep or something. Uh, it's actually... just that when we be, when we become so aware of what it is that we're doing, we get out of the moment because uh, our minds are so active and so busy and often so critical and so um, and, and so habitual coming from a place of judgment. We often are our own worst critics is guaranteed. When I'm playing with you, I'm not thinking about like, oh gosh, like, oh, but I'm like, this is so great. Like the more that you are more open to everything that's happening as you wear, I'm not worrying about where the scene's going to go. I'm just enjoying the moment that we're creating, right? And, and we're stepping away from worry, Worrying about what we're saying or doing, how to do a, a, a perfect improv scene, or anything like that. We're just having fun at the end of the day. And as I said, we're just treating it like a conversation. <laughs> I love that. I had so much fun. That was actually like, it's making me feel like I can one day actually do improv. So. Wow. That would be amazing. I honestly, I can't say enough good things about improv. Um, what, uh, were there, was there a moment, did you have like a favorite moment within the scene? Um, I think I really liked, um, you getting really angry and then getting really quiet. That was super funny to me. Well, that was, you did a great job of that because you called that out. That was your move of like, you're kind of like, wait a minute. You just said it, but then you trailed off at the end kind of thing. And I'm like, that was great. So you're establishing everything that we're establishing about these characters has like, um, that defines us. So you did an excellent job of defining who I was. Cause you're like, oh, wait a minute, this guy, like you talk big, but then you like, what the hell is that at the end? You just got like, you know, you just became like such a pushover, you know? So for me, I'm like, then I'm going to play more of that as the night continues, as the improv scene would can continue. Cause honestly, that scene could go on for an hour. We could do 60 minutes of these two people who are never going to get their food. Uh, this one guy <laughs> who's trying to like, who obviously, like, who obviously, like, thinks very highly of you. And you're kind of, like, more about kind of, like, I don't like this place. Or, or the food. <laughs> Which gives you abundance of stuff to talk. That's why this, it's such a fun pairing. Because it's, like, this character wants to have more, like, closeness. And you're kind of, like, well, oh, I just want to eat. Yeah, yeah, that's great. All that wonderful stuff. Could we just talk about eating and, like, get some food in here? Because I'm starving, you know? So you, you gave me a ton of stuff to play off of. But that's yes. you. Yeah. Really? Yeah, it's Tamara. That was all so much of what you're giving me. I'm like, great, great, great. I make that matter. And that's like that tells me. So if you were to think about it this way, how would you describe your character? Um, like just like really like pushy and aggressive kind of. Yeah, right. Amazing. So very, very defined. So the whole yeah. time I'm like, I right from get-go, actually, I'm like, I have a feeling of who you are. So I know who you are, right? And you're not contradicting yourself too. You're like fairly, you know, fairly like aggressive and kind of like, you know, a bit negative throughout. So I'm like, that's a great, those are great character choices. I know who you are. How would you describe my character? Uh, your character is like really eager to please, really mm -hmm. empathetic, really like yeah. trying to like still look good in front of everybody, but like trying to like, <laughs> like be their best self in front of the person they care about the most. It's like trying to show it, like totally. really endearing, but very like, you know, Kind of, kind like, of annoying. A little bit of, yeah, kind of like a little bit of almost like a like a pushover. Like yeah, a yeah, 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 totally, totally. Yeah. So I'm so glad that that what I was you know what I was proposing, like you saw that, and then again like um, uh, it used to make that matter, and you're like that's who Ken's character is. And so I'm like, again, and you're helping me to define myself even more by clarifying and be like, what do you, why did you just, you just yelled at him, but then you just like totally like abandoned it, you know, like, so that was like, that just gives me more to play from that place. And, and I have no idea where the scene is going to go, but it doesn't matter because it was like, it's so enjoying this moment and like this very kind of like disastrous kind of like, <laughs> you know, <laughs> Yeah, seriously, I'm like, this is a Toronto restaurant right now. Yeah. <laughs> Reg just wants some damn service. Can I get some damn service? Yeah. <laughs> that was so much fun, but that's the thing. You said treat it like a conversation and, and define who you are. And you can stay, say statements of like, I statements or you statements. So the I statement that you had, I hate eggs. I don't like eggs. I think they smell like farts. So it's like clearly defining who you are. And then you're you're saying you statements to me. You always do this, or like you know, like, and I'm like, great. Then that's who I am, and that's who I'm going to keep playing. 
you know so it, it's it takes a lot of other options off the table and I have a real clear way a clear path forward and so I'm just going to play consistently through that through that through that and maybe maybe if the scene continued longer there, there could be a possibility that either of us could change maybe I would actually like grow a spine I think I was trying anyway. To, you know, when I'm like, you know what? I'm going to cook you a meal. This is the day. This <laughs> yeah, is the that way I love I'm going to cook you an omelet. <laughs> and then you're like, nope. We're going to, like, I don't like eggs. I'm like, this guy can never do right. You know, he's never going to please her. Oh, it's welcome. always going to be. <laughs> it's always, but he's going to try. I'm going to keep trying. So I'm like, you know, you want that fish? I will catch that fish for you. I'm, I'm going to get into that. I'm going to get into that creek. <laughs> And you're like, actually, oh. I prefer I prefer steak. <laughs> I have so many of my exes I have to apologize to after this show. <laughs> <laughs> well, <laughs> sounds well, like yeah, it's still early. I mean, it's five oh seven, so you've got plenty of time to. <laughs> yeah, let, let's make sure that we can we can carve out some ex apology time in all of our days. Um, and, good segue, good segue, Connor. <laughs> yeah, I mean that's that's what they teach me in segue school. Um, <laughs> It's in your contract. Yeah, so... <laughs> uh, Tamara, has, has this changed your opinion on improv? Do you think you'd, you'd you know, keep, uh, continue taking classes? Yeah, for sure. It's definitely a different skill. Like, it is, con like, your mind's constantly, like, working. Like, it's mm -hmm. not, you don't have the ability to be someone that has the same improv scene for... 10 years and you go to JFL. That's like something a stand-up could do. Mm -hmm. <laughs> also, <laughs> shout out to JFL. <laughs> and you can see uh, it's Mary and me at the next JFL uh, in Montreal. <laughs> oh, thank you. <laughs> and um, Ken, uh, yes. can you remind all, all these audience members who enjoyed this so much uh, what you're teaching this term. I am teaching comedic on camera acting and I'm also teaching mindfulness, uh, both at Bad Dog. Great, well, uh, Ken, thank you so much. Tamara, thank you thank so you. much. I, I had a great time. Um, I had so much my, fun. My dog also very much enjoyed this. Um, Bummer. <laughs> yeah, and uh, we'll, we'll see Tamara again next week. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm just here all the time. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> You're be such an improv pro by the end of it. <laughs> and uh, Ken, yes, we'll see you in our dreams, unless you have anything to plug. <laughs> uh, season two of Umbrella Academy on Netflix, and uh, yeah, just uh, jump in at any of my classes. I, I love, uh, I love teaching. I love helping people. Uh, so hopefully, uh, our paths will cross at some point. Great. And oh, also, um, yeah. Just like yeah. as like you know, I do work for Bad Dog, so I just want to say, make sure you donate so that we can keep these shows like shows like this happening. Uh, Bad Dog Comedy Theater, BadDogTheater.com slash Try Improv, right? Yep, uh, and of course we are a registered charity, so uh, mm -hmm. any donation you make over three dollars, uh, one you can think about it as your ticket to the this show that everyone enjoyed so much and uh also as a ticket to get some money off your taxes because you will get a tax receipt oh justin trudeau is coming for y'all <laughs> we can be like i spent it wisely i watched yeah. a bad dog show i'm keeping the economy afloat when we're all depressed and we need to go watch something after all this is done we got to make sure the artists are supported that's why we're doing this well, uh, not only can you donate with money, but you can also donate with um, your subscription and learn how to do better segues. I, we got to teach a segue class. Um, <laughs> you can uh, you can subscribe is what I was trying to get to. Took a real long walk, never got there, just ended up getting in the car and driving there myself. You can subscribe to Bad Dog Comedy TV uh, to see our wonderful selection of shows, including Quarantine, which is at a time for 30 on a date on Tuesdays. Tuesday, which I knew. Um, uh, thanks, everyone, for watching, and uh, we'll see you next week. <laughs>
Thank you.